Right, so in this video, I'm going to be going through the tailgate restoration. Now, it's quite a niche video because obviously not a lot of people have E30 Torins, but these tailgates are notorious for rust. Um, doesn't matter how good a condition they are, they've usually got something. So I bought this one as a, as a spare because my original was pretty bad. Uh, mint condition, supposedly, uh, but as you'll soon find out, it's definitely not. So the first job was to get it stripped down. Luckily, my friend Ant was over who has done this before, so he kind of took me through the steps and helped me, uh, especially with the window removal. I was quite worried about doing that, uh, but simple as using a multi-tool, you just kind of cut around the sealant and it soon comes out. With the glass removed, you can soon see the issue that I've got here. There's a lot of rust buildup around uh, the seam, especially on the right hand side, and that's going to be the main area to tackle. So the first area to go for was behind the number plates around. As you can see, I've uh, took off all the paint to where the metal is good. So I've marked it out and we'll just cut that out. With doing this, there are strengthening parts within this. So you have to be a bit careful not to hit any of those. This was an absolute blind guess, but luckily I got away with it. So this bottom seam is actually not spot welded in, it's just sealed in place. So I'm simply cutting between the two layers to uh, be able to pry it apart.
now moving on to behind the glass. Uh, this is a bit of a blind attempt as I didn't really understand what was underneath it. There is a few different layers here, so you have to be careful not to cut through any. But all I'm going to be doing here is cutting away to each piece, removing and seeing how it is underneath. Unfortunately, the rust carried on for quite a while, so a lot of pieces here have been cut out. What we're going to do now is clean up the best I can, and then I'm going to sandblast it to remove as much rust as possible before I seal it up. So for just the repairs behind the glass, it came to five tiny little pretty intricate pieces which took an age to figure out. A lot of cardboard cutting out, the cardboard templates and then forming the metal to suit. Uh, this didn't work first time, it took me quite a few goes. There's uh, little lips that you've got to get right. So once I had all those right, we can start the prepping. So when adding the metal back in, it's as simple as starting with what you remove last and working your way forward, making sure to prep all the surfaces and especially the stuff that's going to be covered over.
So after a ton of hours of welding in, we're still not done. We're still going to put in the numplex around. So as it was factory, I'm sealing it in first and then we can weld it up. So when you're welding this in, once you've got it all set up, you want to be spreading out the welds as much as possible to help with heat distortion. I'm not a professional, this is just what I've been told to do. Now I'm not a panel beater by any means, um, so this was really a lot of advice from a friend to try to keep it as straight as possible. Fortunately there are a few warps in it, but like I said it will be covered over so don't have to be too worried. I just know that all the rust is now gone. Now with a lot of bare metal already showing, I didn't want to use normal primer because it is porous and it can let the water in, which later on after you sprayed it, the moisture can come through. So what I decided to do, decided to go with a long route of bare metaling the whole thing, a DIY spray booth again, like I did for the interior and the underneath and spraying it with epoxy primer.
Right, so the last couple of times that I used a DIY booth as such, pretty much a gazebo, I had a extra pair of hands and it was pretty simple to put up. But today I thought I'd tackle it on my own. I actually bought a 3x3 three three meter this time rather than a 6x3. But it was an absolute disaster. It was really gusty and I was really struggling to kind of get it together. Um, once I did, it was totally blowing itself to pieces. So I had to be as quick as possible. So there's not much filming here. I literally just did it in, out and back down again before it blew away. As you'll see, I did actually tape all the bottom up and held, taped it all together. But it just totally ripped it apart. But I was so deep into it, I just had to go for it. So once again, I'm using the Mipa 2K epoxy primer. It's just my favorite thing. I've used it for the whole car practically, whether it's brush on or spray. I did actually brush the scenes before. I did this just to make sure there's enough kind of within the area because um, fortunately I didn't have much paint. So it was pretty quick. It was like I said, absolute disaster. But you'll see the result in a minute. Came out okay. So after it's been baking in the sun for a few hours, I was able to finish off with the seam sealer. Now, once again, a bit of a rush job. I was running out of time. I decided just to use it within a gun. Uh, the finish isn't the best. I would rather redo it, but I know I shouldn't. But all the seams are now sealed. And there we have the finished product. So this took about four days worth of work. It was an absolute mission, but I know I needed to do it because there is no such thing as a rust-free tailgate. But no, I am happy with the results. And if you made it this far, thank you for watching.